Welcome back to my channel. I'm Joe with Smoking Joe's Pit Barbecue. On today's video, I'm gonna be reviewing the three chamber vacs that are available through meetyourmaker.com. Stay tuned. All right, so let me show you the three chamber vacs we're gonna be talking about on today's video. This first one is their oilless chamber vac. That is one of their newest vacuum chambers and I absolutely love that design. This is the old trusty right here. I've had this one for probably two years. This is their oiled vacuum chamber. And the third one is their brand new 16 inch chamber vac. That's if you're gonna be doing large meats and I'm gonna be vacuum sealing a brisket to show you exactly how big this chamber vac is right here. So let's jump into the very first one. Again, this is their oilless chamber vac. I'm gonna go ahead and open up the lid just to show you guys the chamber itself. I'm gonna power up the machine and show you guys some of the functions that I absolutely love about this chamber vac. Now this one does have a manual function, okay? So if you do the manual function, you can actually adjust your different vacuum times. I like to vacuum for at least 35 seconds. All right, so the second setting is the seal setting right here. If you hit that button right here, this is in seconds. You can adjust the sealing time of the bag. Now, depending on the thickness of bag that you're gonna be using is going to determine the seconds that you use. Now, one of the really nice features about this chamber vac is that it has an automatic bag size, okay? So if you don't wanna mess with any of the other settings, you just hit this button right here and you can go to a large bag, a medium bag, or a small bag as you can see right here. And it toggles between the large, small, and medium, okay? So you do have a bag size gauge on this front panel right here. All you gotta do is lay your chamber vac bag on the front of that, and that'll tell you exactly which setting to use if you're going to be using the automatic bag size. Now this bag does fall in the medium size, so if I was gonna use the automatic function, I would wanna make sure that this button is on the medium setting. Now this chamber vac also has a marinade feature to it. All you gotta do is hit this marinade button and adjust your time. It starts at six minutes and then it goes up in six minute increments all the way up to one hour. So what that's gonna do, let's say that you wanna marinate a steak, simply place your steak inside of this bag, seasoned up or marinated up, put your bag in here and start the process. Now it's not gonna seal your bag, but it will put everything inside of this chamber under vacuum. Now on the marinade cycle, you don't necessarily have to use a chamber vac bag, okay? You can actually have a plate, just put your plate on the bottom right here, let's say with a steak on the top of it, close your lid and it'll start the marinade process. Now what that's gonna do is it's really going to absorb, the, the steak anyway, is going to absorb any marinade that you put around that steak, okay? So doing it under vacuum, it's really like marinating a steak overnight, but you're doing it in six minutes. It's that fast. Now I do have some sausages that I'm gonna vacuum seal just to show you guys how this thing works. There are two tabs in the front. Just put your bag under those tabs. Make sure your bag is flat on the ceiling bar. Now I personally like to use the manual setting, okay? So 35 seconds of vacuum time, the ceiling time of five seconds. Once I have those settings inputted, just close the door and it starts the vacuum process. The door will open up and our sausages are nicely vacuum sealed. Now this chamber vac right here does have a double sealing bar. That means that you're gonna get a double seal on your bag as you can see right here. So this is an oilless chamber vac, which simply means that the vacuum pump does not use any oil whatsoever. So it's virtually maintenance free. All right, I'm gonna turn this off. Let's move to the next chamber vac. All right, so here's my oil chamber vac from Made With Meat. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the power on and show you guys some of the settings. The vacuum time, I like to keep it at 35 seconds. So I'm gonna set that. Then it's gonna go to the ceiling time. I like to keep this at five seconds, okay? And essentially that is all this chamber vac does. This vacuum chamber does not have a marinade function, but I gotta tell you, personally, this is the vacuum chamber that I like. And the reason why is because it's got a full blown vacuum pump inside. I can actually see the chamber vac pressure which I absolutely love. 
and I'm just old school like that. I like to see kind of the gauge and see what the vacuum chamber is doing itself. So I'm gonna show you guys how this one works as well. I'm gonna vacuum seal some sausages. All right, so this chamber vac right here does not have any tabs that'll hold your bag down. That's the only downside of this chamber vac, but as far as everything else, this machine is the one that I personally like out of all of the chamber vacs that I use because it's quick, simple, and it gives me everything that I need. So I'm just gonna lay the bag flat on the ceiling bar. Okay, again, real simple. There's nothing to hold the bag down, so you just make sure that it's flat and close the door. Now again, this does have a gauge and it did pull down to 25 inches of vacuum. Super fast and easy. So there's the oilless seal right there. Again, nothing wrong with that. And here's the oiled version. So it's almost twice as thick. All right, and last but not least, this is the brand new 16 inch chamber vac. Again, from Made With Meat. So now this does say CLO, meaning that the door is closed. So I'm gonna go ahead and open that up. Now, just like the oilless chamber vac, this does have the automatic setting. So you can simply hit that button right there and use the small bag, large bag, or the medium bag. Now this chamber vac does have the bag gauge right here on the front. So all you would do is lay your bag right in front of this gauge and that's gonna tell you which setting to use on the automatic bag setting. So this chamber vac, just like our oilless chamber vac that I mentioned earlier, does have a marinade setting. So all you would do is hit that marinade button and adjust your time. And I believe this one goes all the way up to 96 minutes. Yeah, 96 minutes of marinade time. So one of the nice things about having the marinade function on such a large chamber vac is let's say you're gonna make pastrami. That normally takes, what, seven days of that brisket sitting inside the brine. When you do that marinade function, you can definitely speed up that process. All right, so as I mentioned earlier, I'm gonna be vacuum sealing an entire brisket. I'm gonna go ahead and place that inside the chamber vac bag, and I'll bring you guys right back. All right, so I've got a whole smoked brisket inside of this chamber vac bag. Now this bag measures 16 by 16 inches, okay? Now this brisket does sit a little bit low, so this would be a perfect time to use one of these spacers, just to hold that brisket up just a little bit more. There we go. Now when I vacuum seal a brisket, I like to put the brisket right in the middle of the bag. So I'm gonna lift this bag holder, bring my bag up just a little bit. Make sure it's nice and flat. Lay that holder down. Okay. All right, so before I vacuum seal this, I wanna give you guys some measurements of the actual chamber vac itself. So this measures 18 inches by 17 inches, okay? The brisket measures eight inches wide by 12 inches long. So you can see how small this brisket looks in this really large chamber vac. All right, so let me enter my settings. So I'm gonna vacuum this because it's such a large bag 45 seconds my ceiling time five seconds is good enough all right we are ready to go all right the only thing left to do is lower our lid to start our vacuum cycle all right and just like that, let me show you guys this vacuum seal brisket. There it is, beautiful. Now this ceiling bar does have a double ceiling bar. Really nice thick ceiling bar as well as you can see right here. Now to reheat this brisket, if you guys have never done this before, vacuum seal a brisket like this, maybe freeze it and take it out a month later. All I gotta do is drop this bag into some boiling water and warm up that brisket. And I gotta tell you, it's gonna be just like the day that you smoked it. All right, that concludes my review of all three chamber vacs available through meetyourmaker.com. And I hope this helps you in the decision making on which chamber vac to purchase. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If this is your first time to my channel, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Until next time, Joe with Smoking Joe's Pit Barbecue. See ya.